Pike are a predatory species with very sharp teeth, so unlike other fish, you have to pay particular attention and care whilst unhooking them. So this video is gonna be about how to unhook a pike safely. So you've just landed a pike, it's in your net. We're gonna lift that fish onto the unhooking mat and now look at where and where not to put your hands. With the fish on your unhooking mat, you will need to ensure that it doesn't flip around too much. If it's a large fish, then kneel with your legs either side of it. That will help keep it still. If it's a much smaller fish, then you don't necessarily have to position yourself like that as it's not gonna be as strong whilst wriggling around. Keep your eyes out for where the hooks are and be careful to avoid them. The fish's teeth may be sharp, but your hooks can cause a lot more damage if they get stuck in your hand. Sometimes the hooks can be on the left side of the mouth, other times on the right side of the mouth. So just make sure that you chin grip the fish on the opposite side to where those hooks are. To get the pike to open its mouth, to let you get in there with forceps, you'll need to locate the main gill cover. There is a smaller gap too, which you can't quite get your fingers under, but go a bit further down and there is the main gill. Slip your hand under there and slide it up towards the mouth of the fish into the sort of V shape. With your fingers tucked into this opening, clamp your hand against the side of the pike and you should be able to open the fish's mouth up. Remember to avoid the red gill rakers as they are quite sensitive for the pike and also can be very rough and graze your skin. You'll see with your hand in this position, it is away from the teeth, but also provides a solid place to grip the pike if it tries to wriggle. With the fish's mouth open, you can now remove the hooks using a long set of forceps. You should always have long forceps with you when pike fishing, never go out without them. Also ensure that you have wire cutters, as in some very rare circumstances you may need to cut the hooks if the fish is awkwardly hooked, or if your hooks get stuck in your net. If a fish is very deep hooked, then pull firmly on the trace to try and gain access to those hooks. If you can't though, then try and find another angler on the lake, particularly a more experienced angler, to try and help you. In a worst case scenario, if you just can't get to the hooks and there's no one around to give you help, then cut loose as much of the tackle as possible, cut that wire as close to the fish as you can and release the fish. Once unhooked, you can hold the fish with the chin grip, but do support the weight of the fish, especially if it's a heavy one, with your other hand like this. Release the fish as soon as possible, they can survive for quite a while out of the water, but don't mess around any longer than you have to. Our biggest tip for unhooking pike easily is to simply strike quickly. If you set the hook within just a couple of seconds of that fish pulling your float along or your ledger being moved, then you ensure that that pike doesn't have enough time to swallow the hook deep down. If you're fishing in quite warm water in the spring or the autumn, let's say, you will need to strike immensely quickly. And it's for this reason that we don't fish with dead baits during the warmer weather. The pike can be very active, very hungry, and they can swallow the bait too fast and you end up with deep hooked fish. So we tend to just fish with lures whilst it's a little bit warmer. But if we're pike fishing in the winter with dead baits, or live baits for that matter, if the float starts moving along, we will literally wait a couple of seconds, just quickly check the drag and set the hook, just to ensure that pike doesn't have enough time to swallow the bait down too deeply. You will probably have seen maybe old videos where people wait 30 seconds or even a minute or two before setting the hook. Now that was quite commonplace in the past, but these days when we all do, we all wanna do catch and release fishing, um, it's definitely helpful to set the hook as quickly as possible. So good luck with your pike fishing. We hope this video helps you unhook and handle your pike safely. All that's left to do though is for you to go out there and catch yourself some fish. So good luck and we'll see you guys soon.